All right. It's one. All right. So, did you get here? Did you see the? Did you see the video of me running? Did I send that to you? So what I've been doing, and this is also very good for your calves. In less than a week, I got strong enough to run, run. So just in the beginning, put this here, whatever band you stretch, can you see like it's attached to my waist and then I'm leaning forward and I just start like this, but on my toes. That's just what Oscar looked like running into the Norte this morning. <laughs> so that has been really making a difference with my calves. And you can also just do it like, you know, like just sort of, and it doesn't have to be just like this. Like if I spend a little bit of time during the day, Not even running yet. And then just get tired, go back to stepping. And I think, because I know you don't do any, you don't do cardio, right? Other than walking. We do walking in the mornings. 
I'm walking on the beach. This won't hurt you. Do you have a Fitbit or does your phone take steps? <laughs> okay, this is wishful thinking. Does Oscar have one? Yeah, yeah, but he runs every day. Right, but when he's done, you could borrow it if you wanted because the goal is no, you don't want to know. Okay, so then why don't you set a number? Of you what? A huh? A number of what? S steps, like you're going to do like the running in place steps. Well, what's the difference between that and doing power walking? Um, like seriously power walking. Do you do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like serious. Right. And, and on the beach, in the sand. And I'm walking and running. That's good then. Babes, I, I have 10,000 steps. I, that's you, I know. That's, I'm, cardio is what I'm not worried about. Steps. Yeah. Today already? Every day. Yeah, yeah. that's what I've been doing. I got 10 to 15,000 steps every day. Yeah. You know? Unless I did it every. I mean, if you're watching TV, like if I'm watching TV or I'm talking on the phone, I'm just doing this. I'm not even walking. I'm just going. Right. And you would not believe how after you do it for a while, you're going to get you get really tired. And if, obviously you do the power walking, too. You guys doing any farmer walks? None. Because if you bring it- It started bothering my shoulder. Okay, so that would, what, what part? I think, I don't know, I don't remember. It was just my, the time of my shoulder being messed up. All and right. then we did the seating your shoulder and that fixed a whole lot of that stuff. And then the farmer walks started bringing it back. So I just quit. All right. The reason why that started to hurt is because when you do the farmer walks, it's rolling forward. So it's more about seating the shoulder back. It's, it's not just about getting the shoulder seated. It's about being able to stabilize it yourself. You know, a thing that might help is try to do the farmer walk with one weight over your head. So you're going to have one weight over your head like this. Or even better, <laughs> but a Back lot harder. What? Get one dumbbell and try to walk like this. And it is just gruesome. Absolutely gruesome. Because you now you're engaging your you serrate all this other stuff. Or one arm, one arm farmer walks, and it will give you a time to focus on one arm so you don't have to worry about. You know what I mean? If one arm decides to be lazy. I think I just went with too much weight before I got it correct. Yeah, do 25 pounds. Or so the those 20 pull-ups in 20 minutes, I can't even tell you how sore I was. <laughs> I, I, everybody my, wins. My abs, my biceps, my lats, everything. My pecs, everything. Yep. That's crazy. Yep. And you, I sent you the video. Did you get to see it? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah, because he's got those other weird. That one looked really interesting. That yeah, exercise. That's what I'm. That looks super interesting. Yep. And we can, and you can do that on the box if you get a pad on the box. I got a new mat. I'm very happy with. Ah, that looks fabulous. It is. It's like so, It's hard on one side and soft on the other, and it's cushioned. And it, when I stand on it, it doesn't compress. That's great. So yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you want to do more calves? Nope, I'm gonna be crippled. It's been so long. <laughs> okay, so we should at least do this one because we remember we were doing this one for a while. Yeah. Yeah. That running in place thing. The good thing that I like about it is it takes a good percentage of your body weight off of your legs. Maybe 30 to 40% body weight off your legs because you can just lean into the band. But it also gives you the biomechanical benefit of being able to do this. So I didn't think I was ever going to run again. Really? <laughs> it's <laughs> when I, when I, even if my life depended on it, 
the last couple of years before I had my surgery, I couldn't have run. I would have to have hop on the other leg <laughs> to get out of trouble. But, and even first years, even after that, just it took a lot just to get used to walking. All right, so. Oh, Jesus. Yes, this is how Jesus died. He died for our sins. And this is the position he was in. And this is the thanks we give him. Exactly. And it's Easter. We're doing it. This is an Easter, Easter plie. So is that going to be one of the squat holds? That is not going to be one of the squat holds. It's going to be a calf hold, but you can do this. So if you, if you have a stick, right, go up and just not very far. And it's delightful it is, so I want to see you guys do that. So you take your foot like this, first one like this, first goes like that, out, out. Yep. Okay, you guys are set. Yeah. Alexa, count to a minute. Count to sixty. Count to sixty. Okay. Here's number counting. Alexa, Five, count to sixty. So, why you feel the outside of your leg, why? and it also gets your hips sort of warmed up in your groin and glutes. Yep. So it gets a lot of different stuff, and it works on your balance. So you've got three things going at the same time. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's a surprise. We did this way, way back. I don't have any memory of that. I'm <laughs> certain of that. <laughs> You have the videos to go back to in the very first two or three videos we did it. So you can go to YouTube and check if you want. Um, okay, so you wanted to do, are you guys stretched out at all? We did the swastika. Okay, so your hips are warmed up. All right. Um, so I'm going to leave the squat holds till the end because you want to do, <laughs> yes. So you want to do this now. This one bothers you. You have mats and you have yoga blocks, right? And you can have a stick. So if I'm here. I can, I can do it. I can do it fine. No, I know you can, but here's the thing. Being, t I've learned, I taught you to be tough and you are very, very tough. Now I need to teach you to be sensitive and when stuff starts to stop working you know what i mean that's the tricky part with this one specifically because it doesn't start even to hurt for two days or three days later exactly so we need to stay within the realm so so i would start from here um so up here yeah 
here. Okay. With the stick, right? Okay. And then step up and then go back down and use the stick for the whole way down. We're just doing the up part. We're going to okay. break it down into do different sections. And I want you, this thing is about an inch. Do you have um, something smaller than a yoga block? How thick is the yoga block? Like two or three inches, right? So. That's about the same as yours. No, my, this is, yeah. Here. Oh, here. You know what? Yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah. And, if you want, and if you feel that it's too high, raise the floor in front of you. So put the pad, put the mat and fold it up in but front of you. The problem isn't, if we do a lot of just one part of the movement, I'm still going to be in trouble. We're not going to do a lot. I want you, I just want you to be aware of what's contracting in what order. Okay. It's, it's reprogramming. Something happened where it's like one, two, three, four, it's now going one, four, three, two. That's what happens when- but it, it doesn't happen with regular lunges. It happens with the fancy ones because it gets deeper. Right, so it's this, these muscles, these two muscles here, the glute medius and the glute minimus. Do you have a band around your knees? I can get one. Get a band for around your knees. I got this one. Oscar, you want you might want to try when you guys walk. Just put try to do some of the steps with this just around your knees. If you see me in the gym, I'm like this the whole day. I'm just walking around with this on my in my thighs. Okay. Let me see yours. You have a stick with you? Okay, you have a stick, good. Now keep the weight on your heel and break the inertia first. You see that thing you just did? Yeah. So this, this is why it got strained is because it's the breaking of the inertia. You know when you launch a rocket, right? Three quarters of the fuel is just to break, this, break Mother Earth. So if you can't come up smoothly, then we need to raise the floor. And without putting too much weight on the stick, keep good posture, keep the weight on your heel, make the glute do the work. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't force it. Yeah, because that's... when you keep sending the signal, Danielle, your body goes, okay, we need to switch muscle groups. So you're sending to go one, two, three, four, it's going, no, no, no. If we do this, this, and this, because it's a biocomputer. Let's see how this goes. That's worse. Yes, okay. Did you, did you watch my last video about fiber recruitment? No. Okay. 
That's okay. The the concept of the video of what I was what I'm trying to explain is that you know about the soldiers and the general. Yeah. Okay, so I've decided to not even give the soldiers any choice. I'm telling them, I'm screaming at them in the meeting and I'm putting too much, too much force on them. Even if they fail, they're firing. All that stuff where you were failing on the floor, it's recruiting. You take, okay. the, you take the band off. You know, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, if it, what if it works? would be nice all right so how many of those do you want me to do because i can feel that like crazy i just want you to do one without cheating do we got to find out how high you can without having to compromise your movement pattern but we're making it harder when we go low we're making right it harder in the stabilization muscles i what i'm doing is i'm when i'm here right you see the band i can do let's try this that's better for you Okay, so yeah, you might see better here. So if I'm here, right, when I go to push down on this foot, I'm, right, if I can't break the inertia to there, and then I push myself out to the side. And I have to make sure that I'm in my hip and my, and but as soon as I feel that I can't do that comfortably. I wanna try, I wanna try it without the band. All right, try without the band, but. Don't, if you feel it in your knee, that means your body's compromising. Go, just break the inertia first. That looked better. Step, step to the side though. Step all the way to the side. Like step, the natural pattern is gonna be to want to step to the side. So come up, step to the side. Yeah. And use the stick, yeah, come back down, use the stick to help you. That looked a lot better. How does that feel? Way harder than it should. According to who? <laughs> you. <laughs> this is where I want. That looked a lot, that looks good. That side looks really good. Yeah, that's my stronger side. Okay, so now what I want you to do is try to translate, subtract, you know, like if you, 10 minus eight is two, right? So where, wh what's missing in the other side? Where's the link? And when we find where the link is, that's where the risk factor is. Okay. Excellent, Oscar. Excellent. Okay. That side, excellent. Okay, that's his right leg. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got a professional and you've got a novice. So, okay. So, we need to get your right leg to teach your left leg what to do. And the way to do that is start from the bottom because the education comes from here. So you just break it into two pieces, right? So if I'm here, um, so if I'm here, the first, if I want to do the down part, right? So I'm wide. I step first. And I stop and I help myself up. So we're going to work them into two sections because that way we can focus and synchronize. Because it's like giving you, it's like giving you linear geometry before you can add and subtract. Let's start just the down part. Okay, feel that? Okay. Well, come okay. help yourself back up. Use all the the use. Yeah. Okay. Now when you shift, go slower. Feel where the weight is on your heel. Shift your weight. That looked better. Less touch, like if that was a landmine behind you and you're not trying to de de detonate it. That looked very smooth. 
Don't worry about the up. Use the whole, use the thing to do all the up for you. So do you see where the link is? My right leg, but it's not always the right glute that does that. Today. Sometimes it's the other side. Today. Oscar's the left leg today. That's amazing. Like he, he, see how he, he, he owns that bottom part. He owns the descent part because it's a completely different pattern for the eccentric to the concentric. Those look I good. Try, I want to try the up again. Okay, and then go back to the up. So human, Danielle, human movement is not st static. It's either getting better or it's getting worse. Not a judgment thing, it's just how our bodies are. And the more you compensate, the more you're moving in the other direction. And I speak from experience here. <laughs> and no pain, Oscar? Nope. Those look good, man. Those look really good. Those look really, really good. Um, okay, so do I want you to do here. So I want to see if there's any correlation for you to here. Uh, because the more you can relate it to other skills, because this one's sort of an oddball, right? Because you're at... Yeah. You're torqued, right? So what other torque thing that gave you a problem was, if I remember right, it's the um, Cossack squat. I don't think so. We stopped doing them because you said they hurt you. No. Which one's the Cossack squat? Show me. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes, you're, yes. Yes. <laughs> Now I know how you feel working with, with people. <laughs> uh, okay, again, we start from the bottom. We have the stick, okay? Okay, so we get set, we figure out where's the best position for us, right? Okay, I'm just breaking the inertia. You see, and if you can see here, I'm going to turn sideways. You don't need to be that deep. You can be here. Like I'm above 90 here, right? So when I come here, right, I'm just shifting. The, okay, do you see what I'm doing? So find out, and where you should feel it, Danielle, is right Put your finger right in the bottom where there, you know where your glute inserts that bone? Oh, I know exactly where. <laughs> so we're not trying to rip it off the bone here. We're just trying to make sure you have traction so you don't slide. I can tell this is not gonna be good. Well, just eat, you don't have to come up all the way. Okay, now what, now come up using the whole thing 
with the stick. Use all of the weight on your hand and minimal on the leg. How is that? Now, as you're coming up, so once you switch here, so I'm gonna do mine lower here. So, oh. here so it feels like you're not going to be able to get here you reach here and just come down you don't go, I'm not standing up. I'm just trying to see if I can get the weight here. Okay, and I can use this. Okay. Yep. Oscar can do those easy, he's fine. He could go a lot lower than that. So we need, you guys have something lower for him? Not really. So we've got this. That. <laughs> Yeah. So when you do, when you, we do this, the 90 and yes. the 90. Yes. What muscles actually are working here to switch them? You see that one? It's that, that's part of that muscle to switch gets okay. activated. And it's the same one that we're going to be using for the Cossack squat and for the bowling lunge. But here there's no resistance. So use these as training tools and warm up things. And if they don't bother, and eventually they won't be a big deal and you just throw them in the rotation when you feel like it. So start up here. This made a big difference when I started to do this. like that, because it prevents me from doing, it prevents me from dropping my, putting my hips up and dropping my upper body. Even if you don't get off the box, keep your arms up, keep the weight on your heel, push the floor down into the side, lift your arms up. That looked fine. Slow on the way down. How is that for you? All right, couldn't get off the first time. That looks a lot better. Yeah, that looks better. Yep. So, but is there pain on either one? There's never pain when I'm doing them. So what we're gonna do is this is a light thing. So we're just gonna introduce it into the rotation as a drill, segmented. Oscar, you can do these. That's a, that's amazing. So you can do a pistol squat, can't you? <laughs> I'm telling you, he's his legs are really really strong. So, um, a pistol squat is well. Uh, Yes. And then he can, and you can work your way up from there. It's actually easier if you have a weight in front of you because it counterbalances you. Do you have a five pound weight? No, we have that right now. Oh, that's right, you can hold it. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can go down, hold on. 
you can go down with two. Manola would grab his toe. I saw him. Yeah, <laughs> I was there. <laughs> and he can jump and bounce. And, and go down to the floor. Yes. And, and he can also turn his wrist around three times. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you might want to check to see if, if you, the mother of your son is an alien. <laughs> I can say yes. <laughs> All right. So. But anyway, so he's super, he's hypermobile, right? Yeah. So, okay, so here, so when you're going, come down with two, right? So you're gonna squat down and then lift the leg up and go up with one. Squat down with two. Yeah, I need this way, hold on, sorry. I'm not gonna do this. Squat this for Oscar. So I would squat down with two, okay, up with one, and see, and play a game, how low can you go? Pick that leg, nice, okay, so you need, you that looked easy for you. Try to get the leg higher. Yeah. That's flexibility yeah, stuff. Flexibility. Does he, do you feel your glutes working? That's his glutes. That. So yeah, he feels his glutes. Because they're firing. They're super firing. Okay. There's no limit, Danielle. And it's, uh, I've got to retrain you because <laughs> As we get older, it's not about being tougher. We've got to be smarter if we're going to have longevity. I'm down the road a few steps. Okay, so I'm the one that's making the mistakes before you guys. I'm letting you know that if you, you've got to train smarter, find things. So when you feel your body start. Well, that's shocked the hell out of me that I can't move off the box. Okay, but because there is some sort, because some of it's neurological, because it's not firing. Remember gluteal amnesia, all that good stuff? Okay, there's oh. cues for that. And here, so there's no, there's no height difference for this. Even if you're just sitting like that tall. So if I'm here, that's about, I'm about, I'm way above level. And you just practice, just seeing if you can get, so put a yoga block, exactly, exactly. Two, yep. And this is something you can do when you're at home. I start to do this in a chair. Oscar, you need, we need to get you about half that height. You're that strong right now. That looked fine to me. Now, do you feel your glute firing? That looks... Yeah. That's my limit on that side. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You find out where the limit is and you stay within it. And I'm going to say this. I know I say this ad nauseum, but failure is a signal. Where you learn. Well, right. It's not, it's not, a, it's not something to be scorned because, okay, so you didn't get up at a certain height, but you got up at a certain height, so you say, okay, you should be happy that you found the weak link. Now you can, now you can address the problem. Can't fix a problem unless you know what it is. Okay, so we got that. What exercises would go to appropriate to help you build this up? Bridge? Bingo. One-legged bridge. You go up on two, come down on one. Go up on two, 
pause, come down on one, and then try to go one-legged bridge. If you can break the inertia using your glutes, you're using the same muscle group. And I would put the band or yeah. Now, make sure you feel the weight, that, try to get all the weight on your heel so your toes are actually off the ground. So your heel, so my heel is here. So you have my foot. <laughs> and those look great, That's Danielle. Delicious. Yes. So wait, 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 stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. I want you to do, we're going to do it for time. Well, how much time? What do you mean by time? Okay, so I'll do it first. So let's, I'm going to go up in a one-legged bridge until I fail. It's not going to be long. <laughs> okay. And Alexa, count to 30. Ah, hello, mommy. <laughs> See where I'm going with that? We're going with that. Nice, Oscar. You counting for him? Get those hips up. Nice. If he can go further, let him go further. <laughs> 13 seconds. Okay. Did I hear a huta madre? Yeah. Awesome. I missed that. About the same. Oh, it's too late, I said, what's he saying? I thought it was more easy. It's, it looks goes, like a simple exercise. Okay, so. <laughs> because historically, I give you guys easy stuff.
20. Nice, Danielle. No, 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 Yes. That looks good, Danielle. Hips up, good. So how's that feel? Horrible. Now, can you feel your low back start to engage? A little bit, but my... Or your quads. That means your glutes going like this. Here you go, buddy. No, no, no. I, it, your glute, the glute, your ass has a lot of common sense. I was poking my ass so that Actually, I would engage. You've got, you've got to police it. So this is a way, I think, to, to safe, one of the safer ways for you to start to re rehabilitate your hip in a safe way. So that we But don't see, I'm always super strong there. In, in, but I don't know how much is my... Luke going to sleep, but I was poking it, <laughs> making uh, sure it was engaged. So have you been doing any of these specifically? To spend a little time, go here, <sighs> make sure that this muscle is the one that's activated because it's not going to want to work. Oh. Oh. Right in the glue. Heel, you got to lead with your heel. Yep, lead with your heel and pulse at the top. Yep, just like that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's fire. Yeah, it's your glutes on fire, isn't it? Yes. Every day, Danielle, until that's not an issue. I know this from the rehab for my hip. Ooh. Alexa, count to 60. One. Five, 
Oh my God. Oh. Alexa, count to sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Alexa, stop. Oh my God, my ass is on fire. <laughs> okay, my good, my non-operated leg is already, I would say a third, is only a third as strong as now my, my yeah. My left leg's a beast now. Right here, right? It's on fucking fire. Now it's, an, <sighs> so. This stuff is going to be your stabilizers. They're boring, but you can do them on the floor. That's Maggie's favorite. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, so what definitely won't injure your hip if we did it today? I, we got to do the squat, but um, do the deadlifts, straight leg deadlifts hurt it? Nothing bothers me except the fancy lunges. Okay, so we did, we started a progression for the fancy lunge. We won't do the, this is, these are stabilizers. The fancy lunge has all to do with the, these muscles. Step ups, deadlifts. You, you pick. So step ups. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. Coconut water.
Okay. Oh. 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 We going higher? No, you shouldn't go higher. No. Two sets, one set, or we want to do the deadlifts with this? I want to do. I want to do deadlifts. He's not going to do deadlifts. Um, hold on. What about zerchers? Let's do zerchers. Oh. 
The life suckers. They certainly are. They look so innocent. You did one set or two? One. You want me to get a squat hold, right? Yeah. Yeah. Before we get together again, I'm going to do 20 more in 20 minutes. Chin ups. At least. This, it's, uh, it works with push ups too. 20 in 20? Well, for you, it would be you can do two push ups almost always, right? So you. Given the fact that if you compared your pull-ups to your push-ups, I would say you're at least twice as strong in a push-up. Uh, so I would do times. two. I would do two every minute until you can't do it, and then if you didn't make ten minutes, then just go to do one. You know what I mean? <sighs> All right. I felt that. Wow. Looks like we didn't do anything, but I'm wiped. We did do something. It looks like we did nothing. No, it doesn't. I know what we did because I, I'm doing it with you and I feel it. <sighs> um, okay, how are you with the lean backs? Limbo? Ah. Ah, what? Ahmed? With a limbo? No, not good. This one. Remember? We start here. Hold on. Oh, horrible. Horrible. Horrible in the, horrible in the fact that you're weak or horrible in the fact that you feel it's not good for you? horrible in the fact that I'm weak. Okay, well, so it's like, it's like most of our problems. If we ignore them, they go away. <laughs> uh, what I always say. Well, I tried it with alcohol and drugs and it didn't really work. It, it didn't work that way. I'm fine did not work. It was not a working, working theory. Let's see these. Nice, Danny. Get get your heel. Tuck your toes under. Tuck your toes under. Like that. This will be like the first level. Get you, Put your hands that on feels, your heels. That feels awful. All right. Put your hands on your heels. Do what? I touched them. Yes. And look at Oscar. So Oscar, Oscar should go down when he now. Can he go down further? Go 
Go down slow. Wow. So he can touch the floor. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yes, Oscar. I know that that was badass. Okay. The floor, huh? Nice. Ah, Ahmed. <laughs> Just do the, you don't have to do a lot of them. I just want you to touch base with them. All right. Um, squat holds. Okay. So Oscar can do the Zercher squat, right? He can do over, over his head. How can he do over his head with weight though? I'd rather load him, but let me see. Here, yeah, he did it with the bar. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you just gotta weight it up. Ready? I'll, watch, I'll watch you guys and then I'll go. You have you want me to do Alexa for you? Yes. Alexa, count to 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nice. They look awesome. Squeeze your lats, Danny. And looking good. Fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty. Nice, Oscar. Danielle, your overhead squat is a huge improvement. From getting wide up here. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Oh. Oh, this is really Alexa, count to 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, Nice, Jody. 20 minutes of your time. <laughs> no, one a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Two a minute for push ups until you fail. I'm not promising anything about the push ups. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, God. <sighs> Be glad you're not here. That weight vest smells like a dead, <laughs> dead raccoons in it, and you can't watch it. <laughs> because it'll disintegrate. So I'm training with, and it's signature move is to smell like a dead, dead animal. <laughs> it smells like a raccoon. You better watch your face. I had some worried about that. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jody. Uh, 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 abs, hollow body. One shot. All right. <laughs> that was a good try though. Okay, you guys, Alexa, count to 60. Icing on the cake. <laughs> Raccoon icing. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Now we're officially done, unless you want to stretch, which I'm pretty sure you don't. Oh, Tammy, we miss her. I, I miss her too. She's 
she's working, then she works tomorrow. She works at four. She gets home 11 o'clock tonight and she has to be there at 430 in the morning. Oh, that's no fun. No, but she's covered for two weeks. I'm covered for two weeks. Nice. It's, uh, So when I, you have, you have definite plans or not yet? I'm coming to you. I know. Yeah, I my first day is going to be, you know what I usually do is just get home and just sort of decompress. Do you have definite dates? October, uh, in October. Wow, that's planning ahead. <laughs> no, no. I don't know why I said October. April, April 14th to the 29th. Oh, it's coming right up. Yeah. Yeah. We have a North Day right now. So I'll be able to train. I can train with a mask, no problem. So I trained yesterday with four masks on to show the fucking guys that I have four masks on and I'm doing everything that you're doing. <laughs> I said, I'll dare you to put two masks on. They, they said, no, 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 I can't. I'm, I'll, I'll wear one mask. I go, okay. <laughs> All right. I will see. So we'll I will see you see next you, week. Next, definitely. definitely. All right. Oscar, thanks. Oscar's uh, lean backs, his uh, limbo things. He's a beast. Yeah. Try to do something, send me a video during the week before you get the second half, all right? All Up right. Oscar, don't forget to do your rice. Hello. Arroz con pollo. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Thanks, Jody. Take care. Jody.